Welcome everyone to the round one vlog and the day six vlog in Toronto, Canada. I got down from my bus number 63, which dropped me here to go to the playing venue of the tournament, the Great Hall. And this is the street where the Great Hall is located. Well, I do make summary videos every day for the round, but this one is just everything apart from chess that happened in the day. And this will give you a feel of what is happening in and around the tournament. This is the entrance from where everyone comes in and also the players, media and VIP enter here. This is my media room where I sit and work. Slightly cramped because there are a lot of people who have come with huge, huge uh, machines, you know, <laughs> huge cameras. Uh, this is the playing hall. I really liked that there is player's name behind the chair. Uh, and uh, flags and they also uh, you, you can see Gukesh and Vidit there and uh, this one is Firuja versus Pragnananda board you can see the French flag and also the Indian flag and I like the pieces that are being used these are also the ones used for the world championship matches if you are VIP you get to watch the game from here and also during some time slots people who have the tickets can come and watch the game from this balcony this is the place from where all the vip ticket holders can enter as i just mentioned a few minutes ago and there were several of them who were coming in and there you can see vishy anand coming in as the official commentator he behind him is team with it and I really like the unity of team with by the way there's Goryachkina as well also Firuja on the right side um, who's entering so all the players started to come in around 2 2.30 is the round this was around 2.10 or so uh, and I like the unity of Vidit's team all four of them Vidit, Surya, Daniel, Vedika <laughs> they all are entering with Vishy being there and Vishy has to go from the other area because he is now a commentator, not a player. Well, this is the player's area and his team uh, can go from there. This is the other line which uh, uh, is for the general ticket, not the VIP ticket. They have to enter from the back side and they can go to the fan zone. And I'll show you how the fan zone looks. Uh, it was, uh, and that's Maria Emilianova well-known photographer uh, in the world of chess I was standing here at the intersection and then Hikaru came and Hikaru asked where, where should one enter from and of course uh, I told him but what I really loved about this part is how Hikaru was entering for the game paused stopped signed this board then the guy asks him for a photo he stops there uh, he's not have has his camera open Hikaru smiles and then goes you know this very relaxed attitude it's just amazing how Hikaru is so relaxed with the fans uh, and then we have the seconds here coming in Oparin, Chirila, Gustafsson, Swiddler <laughs> all four seconds there and then this uh, minivan came in and I think this has all the players who came uh, Abbasov takes the front seat because he has an injury in his leg so he gets down from the van here first and then let's have a look at all the players and I think until now we had Firuja, Goryachkina, Vidit and, uh, and the Hikaru come so 10 players must be here Anna Muzichuk was there, Koneru Hampi, Fabiano Caruana, Le Tingye here, uh, Katrina Lagno, Yan Nepomnishi, and then we have uh, Tan Zhongyi. By the way, she's the only one who won her game today. Gukesh, Nurgul Salimova, Vaishali, and Pragnananda. So all the players have arrived and there you can see Nurgul Salimo was greeted by a fan who came with her, a dog. Uh, it's so cute. 
and she was also very kind to spend this time before the game there we see pragnananda there along with samantha who's part of the organizing team a lot of people have dogs here uh, that's one thing i've noticed in canada and this is by the way the fan zone which is at uh, the lower ground floor and this is where people can sit watch the commentary there are also chess bras here with whom you can interact play games i think have a nice time so that's how uh, the fan zone is and this is the food in the press room you can see some healthy stuff fruit salad but then there is also cakes cookies <laughs> wraps uh, i think wonderful arrangements made here by fide uh, for the media and this is another shot of the media room after the game ended we saw gukesh coming out he drew his game with vidit and there were a lot of indian fans uh, these are the ones who i think have a vip ticket who can actually meet him just after his game is over can take pictures gukesh was quite relaxed there uh, i think the first game a draw was a decent result for him and then with it uh, left he looked a little relaxed after the game waving bye to the camera um i think it's a good start for with it especially because black pieces he drew he'll now face uh, hikaru in round 2 which is going to be tough one and also pragnananda versus gukesh will happen in round 2 <laughs> and you can see all the fans uh, getting a chance to meet their heroes in fact i think these are the people who do not have a ticket they just standing outside the great hall so even that is a possibility you know you can have a ticket vip one where you can see the games you can have a non vip a normal pass where you can be in the fan zone and you can also be without a ticket to get pictures or autographs outside the playing venue Okay, this was the mini van. They go back. I really like this scene of Vaishali with this little girl who brought this nice poster. I'm sure she spent some time. Welcome to Canada. Best wishes from Samantha for Candidates 2024. It's for Prag, Gukesh, Vaishali, Vidit, and Koneru. So cute, so cute. I think I'm sure Vaishali could see herself as a little kid in her there. Uh, and then when i came out i saw once again hikaru after a draw against karuana uh, giving big smiles to all the fans taking pictures here you can see once again patient the person is asking for a pen and hikaru doesn't go away generally uh, you know players do are impatient they want to get to something but i think for hikaru these fan interactions are quite uh something that he enjoys and he's not rushing to reach somewhere i then spoke with the fans to ask how they felt guys how was it to meet hikaru oh, it was a dream come true <laughs> yeah yes. do you watch his streams yes i watch of course his speed runs and everything yeah. Yeah. but it was very cool yeah. to meet him yeah. so cool yeah. so very nice very good game very good to meet everybody so yeah. nice. his opening yeah. choice is a bit of a surprise so oh. yeah aha uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. The piano crew on uh, didn't want to interact with the fans for the next. Hikaru prefers to go walking back to the room and does not uh, really take the mini van, which is interesting choice, especially because the weather is quite cold there. Also, sometimes it's snowing. Yet he prefers the walk. And that's a very nice T-shirt which says, "Who is Fisher and why is he so random?" <laughs> I'm sure he likes Fisher random chess. And there were these fans were interviewed outside the premises. Later in the day after uh, all the work was done, I went for dinner and to a place called Badiali uh, and ate this pizza. It was very very tasty. I also reviewed it and put it up on my channel. Uh put it up on the channel. I believe um uh, I would like to do a little bit more of such food reviews uh, because it will give you a more feel of the place uh, and also it uh, helps me to finish my dinner sometimes which I skip 